Welcome back, detectives. Today, you get to be in control of the kind of jotting you do by working on one of the strategies we've learned in class about writing while you're reading. So as you see from this chart here in the middle, which if you need to see it clear, you can always make it larger or click on the link that is attached to the picture to open it up bigger, we have different ways that we can jot and write while we read. You can do a list of your suspects and be jotting about that. Use a timeline of important events, sketching a map and following the trail that your suspect goes, listing page numbers of where there are the best clues that are going to help you solve it. So today you get to decide how you are going to jot and show your thinking while you're reading. There are post-its over here on the right-hand side that you can drag over to your workspace as you need them if you would like. There's also a text box that you can drag over to type in if you want as well. If you need to add another text box, just come up to the toolbar up here where my mouse is. You'll see that box that has a T inside. You click on that so it's highlighted and then drag a box on your page and there is a text box for you. So you can be doing your jots over in this right hand side space. Now some examples of the kinds of jots that we want to see can be found at this orange box here. And when you click on those example jots, it'll bring you to this page. And these will look very similar to the ones that we've talked about in class. So this is the example of doing a suspect list. Where on the left hand side you list your suspects and on the right hand side you're listing the different clues you have found while reading, including the page numbers that you found them on so that way it makes it easy to go back if you need to really examine all your evidence to further think through who the culprit is. Another example would be that timeline marking chapter by chapter the main events, the clues, the information that you've gathered throughout your different chapters. So you can be doing a number of different ways to be jotting your thinking while you're reading today. So you need to make sure that you do this to show us what your thought process is, what you're thinking as the reading detective while reading your book. If you would rather do your jots on paper and pencil, feel free to do that and then just insert the picture onto the right-hand side of your digital notebook here. And as a reminder, the way you can insert a picture is either by clicking on the box here that has the mountains in it to insert image, and you can either upload it from your computer if it's already there, or click on camera to take the picture and then insert it, or click on up to where it says insert, image, and then same thing. So make sure that whether you're taking your notes here with your digital tools or you're doing it on paper with paper and pencil, make sure to insert that picture so we see your jots. We see what you're doing while you're reading. That's not optional. You do have to do some type of jotting while you're reading today. So make sure that you're following one of the example types that are listed here or that you saw on the examples over here. Choose one of those types and make your jots while you read. Remember, you're reading for 25 minutes. Your digital mystery library is over here on the right-hand side of your page. And there's also that 25-minute timer so you can easily keep track of how much time you are reading for so that way you make sure you at least read for 25 minutes. Remember, you can read longer if you would like to. As always, let us know the title of your book so we know if you're starting a new one or continuing with the one from the previous day and gather lots of clues and lots of evidence. Remember, we're always trying to solve that mystery before the crime solvers in the book do. So good luck, detectives, and happy reading.